All right, so we're back with another video for you guys, another reaction video. And today we're going to be reacting to CJ on 32's uh, latest video on his uh, channel. As you guys can see, charged up my glow in the dark GT 63S in the sun all day for an insane night glow. And we're also going to talk about his raffle, man, this uh, Demon 170 raffle special. He did exactly what I told you guys he would do. He did the same exact thing, man. Literally, what I told you guys he would do, he's done in the past. He did it again in uh, his latest raffle. So this is his recent special right here. Two days ago, he posted this. 10X weekend ticket sale is now. Don't miss your chance to my Demon 170. All right? He posted this two days ago. Two weeks ago, read this. Demon 170 giveaway is now live. One time. One time time 10x ticket sale is active what did i tell you guys what did i tell you cj on 32s is making his own 32 gang look like a bunch of idiots you guys are a bunch of idiots slow brained idiots man slow brained fucking idiots 10x weekend ticket sale is now live right but two weeks ago you said it was only a one-time deal right and it gets even worse, man. Just like I predicted, just like I know CJ on 32s would do you guys. Because you guys are a bunch of slow brain fucking idiots. Idiots. Stupid idiots, right? So if you actually go through this special, it says here $100 will get you 1,000 tickets, man. $100 will get you now 1,000 tickets. It only goes up. He keeps on changing the tickets, the prices, whenever he feels like it. And you guys are a bunch of idiots that are just buying it, right? A whole bunch of slow brain, brainwashed idiots. Um, but the last, when he first announced that the $100 only got you 750 tickets, but now it gets you 1,000 tickets. So that's another 250 tickets for the same price, man. Just like I predicted, just like I've been saying, just like all the other raffles, literally the same exact blueprint and the same idiots the same stupid idiots fall for it every single time you might as well let cj just pee on you at this point just let him just get on your knees open your mouth and let that man pee right inside because that's exactly what he's doing you guys are a bunch of stupid idiots we outside with it. Um, we're about to pull up on Officer Coldwater, son, Andrew over there. And I'm going to look at a couple of trucks. And then we're going to head to the clubhouse, man. I'm going to pull the bins out, which I need to go get that oil change from Marty. Yeah, Guys, this week, today. yeah, I'm probably take it to him Monday. Uh, pull the bins out. He's got Marty Mar there doing uh, driving again for him. So this is what I was saying, right? I just wanted to share this up front so you guys can see it, right? So this is the first... This is his alleged, right, his very first special saying that this is a one-time deal. Get your tickets, right? Um, 10X special, which sounds stupid because it's the first special. It's the first announcement of the uh, of the car, right? The raffle giveaway. So how can you have a special? Anyways, I, I know he's, I know he, he knows. Him and I know that his own supporters are a bunch of idiots. Like, we've already figured that out numerous times. Um, but this is the ticket prices right here, $100. 750 tickets so now that same hundred dollars for all the idiots that rushed to buy it when he first announced it you could have got yourself a thousand tickets right now today or yesterday you could have got the thousand tickets for a hundred dollars 250 additional tickets for the same price like i told you guys for the chrysler for the um the the super stock or the jailbreak i think it was the super stock and the corvette z06 exact same blueprint he does this literally every single time and you idiots fall for it every single time bunch of stupid idiots man you guys look like a bunch of fools right now so how does it feel to be that fool to get in the comment section and be like 32 gang 32 gang you look like a fucking retard don't you now don't you look like a fucking retard now let it charge up it's crazy like i never even took advantage of that car since i had it i ain't really drove it since i got it back from the paint shop but i was disappointed every since you know i got in an accident and it messed my bumper up and then it was gone for like some months so once i got it back i just never really drove it plus like, i gotta get that clear rose gold fix pc told me bring it back for that but that's easy to get to him 
And that's it, man. I, I want to pull my shit out, get in traffic, get it started, get the fluids uh, flowing through the car. And I, I want to just, the sun is out high today, so I want to charge it and let that thing glow like the glow stick it is. The sun is beaming today. Yeah, a lot of people outside, guys. It's all right out. It ain't hot or nothing, but it's all right. You know, I got to, I can't breathe in my nose when I'm in this car party. I got to breathe in and out my mouth. So I'm talking out <laughs> my mouth and breathing all at the same time, guys. So if I sound a little weird, you know why. I don't even smell nothing. Like Marty that. left the cut. Marty the left Dallas paying for the girls. Time. So since this video is about the GT um, 63, right? This four door. It's a four door. Why does he not let Marty Marr drive the Mercedes Benz, the four door or any of the other four doors? The uh, the Cadillac is in the garage. Why does he let? Why does he not let? Marty Marr ride any drive any of his cars driving around like I don't understand that why does he keep going in his car this dude Marty Marr is a clown but by the way this is his baby mom and uh in Florida man this girl is like all over the place this girl is based in Vegas um somebody uh let me know about this so when I quickly hopped on you can, you obviously won't see it right now if you go on IG this is his baby mom in Vegas and look at this man now, I ain't going to say what rapper it is, but if you can read, you can read. If you can see and read, you'll understand which rapper it is. But it's so interesting that she's in uh, she's in Miami. It seems like everybody now suddenly is going to Miami. Even his baby mamas are going to Miami, right? And CJ just announced he's going to Miami, I think, a, co a couple of videos ago. I actually got to go back and check out some of the other. Somebody was telling me about another video where he said um, Liz is pregnant or something like that. We all knew shit was gonna happen they're all trying to they're trying to secure the bag man but this one's got a real bag man she's been messing around with all these rappers um and this one's actually like a better looking one than uh than britney britney's looking like she ain't looking like the way she used to look before um cj messed with her but there's there goes another one actually this was the same one by the way if you guys haven't checked out the second channel our clips channel make sure you guys go check it out because i've been dropping a lot of shorter videos on there so if you guys want to see shorter clips shorter videos like this this video is going to probably be chopped up into like several shorter clips it'll be on the second channel um and that's what is why i kind of remember now because on the second channel we posted an ig live with this baby mom and another dude flashing money. He trying to get some of that yum yum, man. So if you haven't checked out the second channel, go check it out. Like I said, probably next week, this video will probably be chopped up on there. So if you guys want to watch like five minute clips, it's going to be on that second channel. They all his buddy. He got the casino. I'm not being productive. He losing all his buddy, man. He really think he a crap player. He don't even know how to. I love. Bro, I'm the best. Bro, he don't. He don't even know how to play, guys. How about we get you to come? Oh no, we already got you to come. You suck. You suck. Nah, nah. Tell him the truth. No, you trash. Bro, you suck. He's not the truth. You never lost your 500 so fast. And I was up. I won 500. You don't know how Marty play. He play like the old people. Like you know the old people that go to the slot machine. Look, he's tripping. For one dollar, I see him. For one dollar, just stay on the slot machine and play pennies all day. That's how. How Marty no. is at the crap table. He can go to the lowest table and just don't That's bet on He's lying. Trash. He's lying. I was up 500. All day. I left 500 dollars Richard. He left 500 dollars less. He always do it. Yeah, because Marty Marr plays like regular people, and regular people obviously ain't taking risks because that's money they worked hard for. CJ's money is all raffle money. It's all free fucking money. So he gets more free money every single raffle from a bunch of idiots. Like, we've already talked about this, man. He gets free money, man. Just like G-Ball said, man. Shout out to G-Ball. That's another video we just put up. Um, just I just remember this because we posted up the clip on the second channel. Another video where G Ball was talking about this free YouTube raffle money. CJ can play all these crazy casino slots or whatever table because it's free fucking money. It ain't it ain't money he worked hard for. This ain't money he works hard for. Of course you can spend it. But that's cap. Man, I, don't, I don't go to this casino because I don't see the benefits. I don't see no ups. It ain't like what is winning five hundred more dollars gonna do for me? Nothing. Yeah. Well, you got big money. You can bet big it's money. Over here. No, it don't matter about the money. I'm just saying it's not gonna help you. No, it's like people go there. Then you take your risk of losing. People go there and they bet. People win big. The only time you win big is when you play big. My that's boy. what I'm saying. That, that's what you would do. No, no, no. Well, if you're afraid to lose, then I'm saying you're not that good. No. Then that I'm makes smart. sense. Just don't go to the casino. I seen CJ you lose. 
man. Thousands and thousands Ooh. at the casino thinking he know how to play all this, this, betting on this, this, this. Because everybody thinks that. Everybody's going to think that. They know, they know how to bet. Everybody's going to think that, you know? Like, even me, I'd be oh, like, I, I know what I'm doing. Right there's that dude called Andrew. But I can really say that I either zero out or I bet or profit a little bit. You know what I'm saying? Um. Yeah. If you play slots, it's probably like you ain't winning, man. I mean, you you you'll get maybe lucky once in a blue moon. But if if you play table, like if you play blackjack and some of the table games, and you know how to play those games, then obviously that's where you're gonna make money. So I mean, he has a CJ is right about that. You ain't winning if you want to play machines. All right, machines are programmed so that the house wins all the time. But the other day I did, you know what I'm saying? Don't listen to him, guys. No, I'm serious. Y'all can come with me. I'm going to win y'all some money. He is horrible. No, I'm not. He's seen it in action. Y'all know Marty think he the best at everything. I am. Know, it, it's cool to have a good imagination, guys. No, it's not but a at the end of the day, when you, if you just suck, you just suck. It no, ain't no, bro. no matter what come out your mouth, you got to accept it and deal with it. So, yeah, no, just no. deal with it, man. It's okay. Andrew. <laughs> CJ just proved to you guys that Marty Marr is exactly what we've been saying, that he's a flunky. CJ only keeps flunkies around him. He just literally, he just literally kept it real this time. He kept it 100 with you guys. He said, I only keep flunkies around because he knows, he knows Marty Marr is a dumbass, right? But he only keeps dumbasses around him that he can use them and leverage them to his advantage. He don't keep any smart, real people around him. Everyone around CJ is below CJ. He finally admits it, man. He just finally admitted it. He's like, this is a clown. He basically, I mean, he didn't say he's a clown, but he just said it in his own little version. If you would have followed me that day in the casino, you would have won money. But you, he, he bet against me, y'all. That's the crazy part. Of course. This. I'm always bet against you. No. I suspect against you. <laughs> That's crazy. What up, Marty? Yo. Yo, where you at, Andrew? I'm at Darcy. Yeah, we in the front. Oh, I'll be, I'll be there in one second. All right. I'm parking a car on the new lot. We'll be there in one second. All right. All right. Thank you. My boy, happy as hell to be here. Andrew, Andrew, Andrew. In just two weeks. Let's see what they got on the lizards. Oh, they charging it over there. That's what they doing. Get you a track hawk, Marty. That's a track hawk? Yeah. Look, look. You can get some shoes put on there. Oh, yeah. If you put some rings on there, it's going to be nice. He just, he just keeps on, man. He keeps on just proving that Marty Mar is a dumbass, man. That is not a track hawk, man. Even, like, if you weren't even a car guy, you can tell that that's not a track hawk, man. That thing looked like a base model Laredo with, like, it don't even look like any, it don't even look like the Jeep Grand Cherokee Summit, man. This dude, uh, this just goes to prove to you that Marty Mar is just a flunky, man. He's like a stupid-ass retard that CJ just makes laughing at. He makes jokes out of him. Everybody around him. Like, that's why CJ gives all these goofies around him. Like, what's that other dude? Big Boot J or something. Like, what, what's, up, what's, what, what's up with all these fucked up names? Like, he comes up with these people's names. That new Buick right here. Andrew. Andrew. Look at him, man. What you doing? You ain't back there watching no cars? They got you doing something else? No, I'm a tech expert, technically. So what? I sit with all the customers and, like, explain everything in the cars to them. Uh, okay, okay. You guys come up to on the grind. These them new Buicks. This gas or electric? These? These are gas. Some lights nasty on there. Yeah, I do like the lights on. Yeah, they... All the new ones are all over there. We got some nice trucks right now. Y'all got some new trucks. That's what I've been looking at. Trucks. Yeah, I'm trying to wait for a, like a dually to have an ultimate uh, Oh, y'all got a dually right there. I think that one's a gas. So I guess uh, I'm going to take it that he didn't get his father a truck. Because the last video, I haven't seen the last video. Some of you guys probably seen the last video because I know a bunch of his slow brain idiots watch every video, right? Um, so I'm going to assume. So I, I, it's probably pointless to even watch the last video because he said he was going to get his father a truck or some goofy shit like that. So sounds like he didn't get that truck. They only make duties with get, uh, regular gas? I didn't even know that. Yeah. I thought they only came in um, with the diesels. Yeah. Yeah. I think, yeah, I think most brands actually do it. Yeah, this is that regular boy right here. No, Sirsky. Just the Nally, not the, not the ultimate. We got to get you in the ultimate. 
Yeah, the ultimate nasty. I see he back there charging the H, the Hummer. The Hummer, yeah. yeah. That thing's pretty cool. We got two of the our finance guys got uh, the ones they got matte green paint on it from factory. It's pretty cool. Oh, yeah, yeah, I've seen that so one. There's that one right over there you can kind of see from here. The white one? Yeah, well, the white one's right there, but if you look a little bit further back, you can see that greenish one in the parking lot over there. Like, oh, yep, I yeah, see it. Is it a half or full? That's a full. Yeah, I don't like the fools. I like the half. Man, they ain't even got no prices on these boys. No, not on the used cars. They're all online. Oh, this used? Yeah. All the new ones are on this other side of the lot up over there. 84. We're about to have uh, my own detailing day right next to your shop. Pretty close. Straight up? Yeah. Three days. Gonna rent it out? Uh, they're actually, uh, Terry's gonna be doing it for me. Terry. Terry Wash. Terry Darcy. Oh. It's gonna, be, it's gonna be cold water car care, but it's gonna be... Hey, hey. Right there. You hear that, Marty? Cold water car care. Let Marty be the first one, man. He need the detail and then that Buick. Man, CJ's got to be spending at least like every month, every month, he's got to be at least doing some dealership content, like probably like seven days, eight days, probably 10 days out of the whole month. He spends it at the dealership that like his content is so predictable now It's literally buy a car, put some wheels on the car, do some exhaust work, raffle the car, buy a car put wheels on the car, put the exhaust work or some modifications. I don't even think he does paint jobs anymore. Like it's just that G the, the Mercedes one's got the paint. I'm pretty sure he's only going to talk about it probably towards the end of the video. Like I could probably fast forward, but I'm not, but I'm saying like his content is so predictable. You guys watch this crap. Like I don't get it. ain't too bad. The Denali. kind of like the Denali. That, that one. Yeah, it is. Let me look at that. How much this one going for? Uh, it's got it on the sticker. I guess probably like 85, 90. 85? Yeah. Got some ugly step bars, though. It's like a white pearl. 92. 92? Yeah, white. Got the TVs in the back, too. No roofs. Nope. No, sir. No deal. Why is he looking at Suburban or actually, no, this is the, this is, which one is this? This is the, the GMC Denali. I mean, it's got to be like a, a Tahoe or something like that, right? I don't know, like GMC, Chevrolet, they just make the same shit. They just use different names or whatever. This might be uh, the Yukon Denali. That's what it is. Chevrolet Tahoe is that's the ta Tahoe is for Chevrolet Yukon is for GMC or it might be the other way around I don't know like I said they all use the same crap but this shit is basically a Cadillac Escalade this thing is literally a Cadillac Escalade with more tech package more makeup and shit like that and he gave away seems like he's buying the same cars trucks cars that he's given away in the past like it's literally a raffle enterprise of a business it ain't no non this shit is not a non-profit most of you guys know raffles are really for non-profits and one of the requirements is is that you have to create a a submission for somebody to enter the raffle without paying anything at all that's that's how it becomes a raffle 
and it's only for um, nonprofits. What he's doing is a lottery, which is illegal. All right, it's illegal. I mean, once they catch up with them and they catch up with all this shit, like they didn't catch up with Omina Hellcat overnight. Like he's Omina Hellcat was doing that crap for like many, many, many years, almost like a decade before they caught up with them. Even though you can't see it, probably won't use it. What's these? Are these electric? No, these. Are, these are, we don't have any full electric besides the pump. Oh, that's crazy. Yeah. Wait, so y'all a Hummer dealer too? Well, we, the Hummers are GMC now. The new Hummers, the GMC. Oh, I didn't even know that. Did you guys know that? Because Hummer used to just be his own yeah. brand, right? Yep. They sold the rights over. He said, "He, oh my God, he said he didn't know Hummer." was a gm product man even the old hummers were gms the h2 and the h3 and all that only the h1 was a separate entity it was like built by am general but h2 h3 those are just like goofy ass chevrolet gmc um with makeup right just a bigger box a bigger cabin and just the hummer logo and the hummer makeup or whatever but this new Hummer, this electric one, even the car has GM logos on it, like GM decals. I mean, it has Hummer, but it also has some GM stuff all, all over it. Yeah, and then I like that. This one, this one, this one nasty. The two tone on there. Just like y'all's. They are near color. Yo, that's, that's kind of a look at your phone. That's probably power coded the rims. Okay. Let me. Those ones, AC4 access, those are right. Man, they went hard on these, though. Like, I, the front end looks so, like, it looks so electric, man. I'm like, tough. It looked like a horny face. We got a lot of them, too. We got, the deals we have on these right now are insane. Like, some are, like, 20% off. So, what they going for? Some of them, we've got, like, low 40s right now. We had on our show or two in our show, and they are both, like, right around 55. And they were at... Man, y'all got a lot of these, bro. Because over here, too. Yeah. They be selling. Yeah, they sell pretty good. good. That blue one, that truck right there, that's the one that I bought for myself. Back there? Yeah, that one right there. Oh, that's what you got now? Yeah, I got my own. <laughs> Andrew done got his own truck. Yeah, your dad's back, huh? Yes, sir. Man, your ass is fire. <laughs> they got a dually. Yeah, this one. Chromed out. Yeah, like I said, these have like At least they getting doolies back on the lot. CJ doesn't even know why he's at this dealership. Like, he just wants to make this video like an hour long for for whatever reason, only to come at the end and talk about the Mercedes. Man, is he even going to talk about the Mercedes in this video? Like, he'd be just dragging. Like, he was, he went looking for trucks. Then he went and looked at the, uh, the big SUVs, the Yukon, Tahoe, whatever. Then he went and looked at some of the crossover. Then he went back. Well, no, no. He then he went and looked at some of the trucks again back at the crossover and then i guess andrew was telling about some special discounts on some of these other little suvs now he's back looking at the hummer like he don't even know what the fuck is he doing at the dealership like the actual truck yeah it remind me of like the, the cadillac exv yeah. when they had the, yeah. the bed in the back yeah i don't like it with the full top guys what y'all think about the full top hummer the color is dope the uh the air suspension in this thing it's got 10 inches of travel so this is like all the way down right now and it's all the way up this is somebody's suit mm -hmm. this is one of our finance managers oh somebody got the zl1 back there hi yes sir. they finally sold the uh that charger or no they took it back to the auction i think it's in uh no i think it's in storage i i wish i was there when you were there to get that thing then they then they end up going down like eleven thousand. yeah more yeah i wish you would have been able to get that one that's cool though you would have given it away right probably yeah i mean i end up with the better the daytona yeah we got the identical one right over here too what the, this armor y'all got another one so y'all got three 
Hell, look at Andrew's truck over there. But this is now you're alone. I'm about to just. Okay, I see you over there, Andrew. Got the whip, whip. Somebody got the CEO one ski. Somebody got the TRX. Black on black. Black face, black grill. I like that. Man, where the hell the other Hummer at? Which one? The... What, what you said back here? Oh, uh, no, they, those were the two over there. Here, he's got that. He said, what's that white one that's up there? Okay. Two, I only seen two. There's so, three here? So that, Yeah, there's those two, and then there's the truck one right up there. That's charging. What two? The, remember the, the one I just showed you right yeah, there? Yeah, the green one? Right next to it, there's two of those green ones. And then... No, the but they here now? All three of them? Yeah. Yeah. I only see, I only see this one and that one. Where the third one at? Wait, there, there's one, two, and then three right there. Wait a minute, man. Hey, wait, now, those, am I those seeing these? Right next to each other. So that one's right there, the first green hummer. Oh, shit. I didn't even <laughs> notice that. That's crazy. Dang. I definitely didn't even notice, man. Did y'all notice that? Yeah. Uh, I know I ain't crazy or half sleep, but I definitely didn't notice that. So it is. It's three of them boys. Yes, sir. This the mayor's right here, right? Yeah. No, I did notice it. Duh. I, they're, they're literally the same. This dude, CJ, he, he be on, like, I don't know if that's him sniffing all that. By the way, that ain't me, all right, because I know somebody said something in the last video. Like, that ain't me making all these noises. He don't have, like, a, he, he ain't, he ain't eliminating the background noise. You got all that wind noise. You got him, like, I don't know what's fucking, he's congested or something. This is the mayor's whip, guys. You know, he big time. Ooh, that color's sick. Yeah, the new, yeah. That color nasty. It's like a chalk gray. And that looks so good on that truck, man. That's a nice color. Going to the casino, losing all this money. I lost one time. Man, I want the Tesla truck, bro. I can't wait to get my hands on the Tesla oh, truck. The cyber one? Yes, the cyber truck. Yeah. Gotta have that, bro. Gotcha. Yeah, I like this one a lot. This one is. This the cold one right here. These going for like 140 still, 130. When we first got them, what for that? When we first got them, there was a guy who bought it. So we sell everything at sticker here. We don't charge anything over sticker for our new cars. Right. So we sold it for 108,000 or whatever it was. We turned around and went and sold it for 270. Yep. That's when these things are going crazy. You made some money. Yeah. yeah. Man, I like this. I always liked it. Wasn't you with me when yeah. they first got them? They first yeah, got them, we to do crab walk. walk. Over. They want you to pay one. Yeah. Over. Now this this one perfect. The color, the white, the black, and the everything one. on it. Yeah. Yeah. The, that is sick. The, that one that got cheated out the fight. Mm -hmm. He has this card. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Against uh. You know, it's sick. Davis. Davis. Yeah. yeah. No, I, I know exactly. No, I, would. Would. I know what you mean. I don't know what you're talking about. Yeah. <laughs> this guy. I don't know what what's so special about these Hummers, um, because they ain't really like the Hummer is just like a fake name um well this is a fake product of hummer that's what i that's what i meant to say this ain't like the real hummer like military hummer grade car or truck this is like the civilian goofy virgin and i don't really like that i don't really like i might as well like i'd probably get the trx if i really wanted to add a trx um but i actually prefer the g-wagon that's probably the most common car um i drive right now is the g-wagon and some of the sports cars, but I don't know what's the the fascination with these Hummers, because there's just like GMC trucks with just more makeup and um and that's it, it's like a different body to it. It's not it's not like people think they they got a Hummer like the the military grade Hummer, and even the military grade Hummers ain't all that man. They're just like goofy ass big box. It's like it's like everybody's sitting in like a different time zone. Damn, man. They sell a new one, uh, That one? Yeah. That's, uh, like, we, we sold, we haven't gotten that many in, one, even though we're one of the two dealers in the state that's actually able to sell those new, GM only sends it to us and one other dealer. Uh, we sold, like, two or three of them to 
haven't gotten that much yet. Hopefully, it will be like next year or two years from now, we'll have like a good boat. Oh, they'll be making them. Yeah. Either, all the ones we've got so far, they're all 1,000 horsepower. The ones that are about to come out, there's one package that I think is 850 and one that's 600. Oh, no, I need that 1,000. Yeah. yeah. It's, CJ, it's crazy. That like, that with that air suspension, you we drove one. Old. Like, way, like, shit, that was like two years ago. Yeah, yeah it was like two years ago. Mm -hmm. Yeah, this one has got rear steering, too. Yeah, the thing it turns. turns, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Crazy. They, they activated it. Yeah. Without you being in the car, I think, right? Oh, how does it work? The rear steering? Yeah. The rear steering works no matter what. Well, oh, you have to be in the car. When you turn it, it yeah. turns. Yeah. When you turn. Yeah, well, well, Andrew about to open up his car wash. Yes, sir. I'll be Congratulations. right Congratulations. I appreciate it, bro. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes, sir. That's real dope. How long on that? Uh, should be in the next few months. So your dad said that you got some cars that you're going to uh, watch tomorrow, some yeah, supercars uh, or something. I'm doing an M3 competition sport, Audi Q8. Uh, might do something else, but I'm traveling. I'm traveling to Kenosha, Wisconsin to get it done. Oh, yeah, he's taking that ride. And you're going to get content, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'm doing rollers for him. He wants me to do a full video shoot for the car. All right, guys. So I want everybody to get in the comment section. Let me know what yes, y'all think about the Tell Hummer, man, that white Hummer. Uh, you can find them, though. They right out there. Right next to the clubhouse. Hunter something. Oh, wow. Yeah, I'm going to be right there. Oh, so you're going to take for us. He's going to take business away from I don't know. <laughs> you know, McGill gets all those cars. Yeah, yo, your neck busting. What happened? Your neck. Oh, yeah. At the, at the basketball right game I was at today, everybody was talking about this today. Bless. It was oh, like, look. That thing is crazy. Yeah, it, it goes crazy. I remember when I was there when all you guys got those. That was a cool. That was really cool. Oh, yeah, like, some people looked at me like, oh, you, you, got the, you got the real stuff. Oh, yeah. I said, yeah, my boy hooked <laughs> me up. <laughs> all right, guys, man. We just going to chop it up with Andrew for another second and head over to the clubhouse and pull out that glow stick. I'm about to pull out the Benzo on 20 inch Lorenzo's. Man, Miguel got that shit going back there, don't he? Louis, boy, he back there getting it. So, just like I said, man, the first half of the video is basically him wandering around at the dealership, man. He just be going to these dealers. So, now I'm wondering, did he. Uh, did he actually get his uh his father? Somebody let me know in the comment section so we don't have to do a reaction video on um on the other video if he actually got his father the uh the truck. Cause otherwise I'm gonna drop another reaction video on that one. But what was the purpose of him going to the dealership today? To go link up with Andrew, to go see how Andrew is doing, to just go bore you guys around to show you guys the Hummer? Like what was the whole purpose? Y'all don't got this car. Y'all car can't do that. Come on, shake your hands. No. Nah. Y'all car can't do this, man. What it can't do, bro? Oh, yo, 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 wait, that. I forgot it does that, bro. All right, guys. We is uh, 465 days past service eight. Oh, that's nothing. I didn't been it don't matter two, three thousand. Yeah, it don't matter because I ain't been driving it anyway. So, ooh, it is still clean. Only thing messed up is the windows from dust. So we're gonna charge this thing up. Now, this is what I mean about this uh, Corvette. This is just like the situation I talked about early on at the video at the start of the video. If you guys been watching along, um, like CJ's been doing this the same exact blueprint, same exact tricks. Same exact stories, same exact specials, every single raffle. He raffles off a car, he announces it, he says, we got some special going on for these tickets, get your tickets early on, get it right now, this is a one-time special, then be like two weeks later, a week later, it'll be another special, very similar to the announcement special, even more tickets, then probably like a couple of days after that, it'll be another special. And God forbid there's like a holiday or something like he'll take advantage of that day. Have another special for that is so predictable. I don't understand these idiots that keep falling for this stuff. Y'all keep falling for these tricks. CJ on 32's knows you guys are a bunch of slow dummies. Dummies. You guys are dummies. Otherwise, he wouldn't make the announcement saying, oh, this is a one time 10x special. And then two weeks later, say, Oh, this is another 10x special. Like, what was the whole point of announcing it at a first time and only time 10x special? Because he knows you guys are slow idiots. It is nice out. Man, bro, I ain't been drove this in so long. I need to drive this bitch. Man, it's so nasty. So what you were saying about the little baby mamas, the top don't go back. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, uh, yeah, you, you keep the, that top back. You ain't got the convertible, you feel me? Yeah, that's all right. Yeah. You ain't got you the 4G. You feel me? 
You ain't got to do. Your wheels too small. Your wheels the size of my caps. <laughs> Your wheels the size of my cap, boy. We got that beans out. This is what y'all want to see, right? I'm gonna dry the shit out of it too. We're gonna let it charge all the way up. I don't even know how many miles I got on here. No, I bought this used. Remember, it had like five thousand. So I'm probably at like seven. I think it had like seven or five. This was my favorite beans, and it still is to this day. Big body boy. I can put your car right here in the back seat with the core, core bottles. No, actually, my car's the same size as your Lamborghini. He just keeps Marty Mario around just to sh uh, shit on him, right? Oh, I can fit your car inside my car in the back seat. Oh, these rims. No, your rims are like the size of my little hubcaps, right? Exactly what I've been telling you. You got Marty Mar looking like a flunky here. He just get he just validated it for you guys. Marty Mar is a flunky, man. Marty Mar is his like little punch dummy bag, right? He's the same dummy that he puts him at the uh, at the front end of these raffles to deal with customer service, like dealing with all these customers that have any kind of issues. And Marty Mar ain't no customer service. He's a shitty ass customer service. He's been exposed so many times doing some bad shady customer service ain't answering people's questions ain't troubleshooting any issues they're having man if you have any issues with these raffles buying tickets you're gonna end up talking to marty mar and he's probably end up gonna like talking shit to you all right that's how bad the customer service is like a one-star experience they only want the money idiots but you know for everybody that has had a bad encounter with marty mar i feel like you'll probably get some type of relief when you watch CJ on videos just shit on him like he's doing right now. He's shitting on Marty Mar. He's like, Marty Mar, you broke bum. Your car fits right in the back seat. That is nuts. Yeah. Miguel, what's up, man? I see you got a, a matching scam car next to the scam car. Huh? You got, you got a matching scam car next to the scam car. Nope. <laughs> nope. No Miguel English, said huh? He gave everybody their money back. What happened? Miguel said he gave everybody their Oh, you money. did refunds? Yeah, that's what he said. And you lost out? You lost money? Miguel got work because now he don't even work. I got it, though. You lost? Man, bro. So, this is what I mean. Like, these raffles are not regulated, right? Not regular. They just be running these raffles all goofy. He'd be telling his best friend. CJ's telling everybody that he knows to do raffles. So that way it seems like this is just normal shit. But if this guy, Miguel, did a raffle, then he should have just gave, up, gave away the car even though he lost money. Because that's the whole purpose of the raffle. You still give it away even if you lose money. It's not... There's no... This is what I mean. Like, there's no disclaimer. There's no rules to entry. These guys are running these raffles with no rules at all, and it's really not a raffle. It's more like a lottery, because with raffles and any type of giveaways, you have to make an option for people to enter without paying at all. That's the whole. That's the. That's what distincts it from a raffle to a lottery. They cannot do lotteries. CJ's doing lotteries, but you never know. Like I said, only it took them like a decade before they caught up with them. No more raffles for you, buddy. <laughs> Not endorsed. He is endorsed by Migos Detailing. That's it. <laughs> That's great. What you got going on? Nothing? Chilling? Chill day? Chilling like a villain? And then Marty Mar also stopped doing raffles, right? Now he's doing merch. He's got this goofy-ass merch, man. He'd be selling this trash. I don't know who is buying this garbage. This garbage he's selling for like 50, 60 bucks. It's a bunch of stupid idiots as always. Man, it's stinking there. Gonna let the car charge. Gonna make sure these lights are... I'm gonna go hit some blocks and get in traffic and drive it, guys. Good nights. So when we pull in, it should be fully lit up. Let that pin is glow in the dark. We up out of here. We'll get in traffic. Stink in there. 1022. Huh? No, I just stink because it's old and spoiled. Motherfucker's been in there since 2019. Shit. It's crazy. Yeah, I don't smell it. You smell it, Miguel? Stink, right? Uh, Gotta breathe out your mouth. I wish I could breathe out my damn ears when I'm in here. <laughs> <laughs> Shit, <dick. laughs> Breathe out my ears, guys. It do get crazy when you don't 
<laughs> smell it. Marty looked like one of those kids that was just running around with a big ass wet. You could tell, like, th th this type of video is one of those half-assed videos. Like, CJ always talks about, like, he, he does quality content now, right? He says that he takes breaks or... And you can notice it, too, if you've been watching this channel. Like, sometimes he doesn't drop every day. He drops every other day or sometimes two days apart. Because he's like, I ain't doing it about... I'm not about quantity. I'm about quality. This is not... This video right here, this shit ain't no quality video. This is just the quantity... This is like a last-minute bullshit video, right? Because the first half of this video is him bullshitting around at the dealership with Andrew and uh, his flunky boy, Marty... Just walking around, looking at any car. He, I thought he was going to look at trucks for his father, but you you guys saw. If you saw the video, you know what he did, right? So it's just goofing around at the dealership for 20, 30 minutes. Comes back to the shop, to the warehouse, right? Takes out the, G, uh, the Mercedes, right? And then now he's going to go for a little drive, right? It's like a bullshit. This is another quantity video. Ain't no quality. CJ is not about making quality content anymore. Like he says, like, I don't know why did he stop being creative and actually work on these cars? Is it because he's just focused on that raffle money now? He don't get he he doesn't have that type of passion anymore. Like he's doing it. I know with the uh, the challenger, but why not every car? I would think there would be more content if you're actually modifying every single car you get. Like that Mustang, right? What's going to happen to that Mustang? It's just going to get wheels and it's going to sit in there until it's ready to be a raffle car. What's going to happen to that Mustang, that dark horse? What about that uh, the, the Cadillac? He got it. I don't. He hasn't made much content with it. That's probably going to be a raffle car at some point. Like all these other cars, like they're just sitting around doing nothing. Until he gets another car, and then another car, and then another raffle, and then another car, and then another raffle, and then some wheels. Diaper on, no, 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 no. <laughs> Taking his diaper off and shit. No, I'm, 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 I'm on the shirt. I was the first born, you feel me? So. Dead nigga, dude. I was treated the best, you feel me? No, I don't. Not at all. Because you gotta be crazy if you don't smell that. I don't smell it. That's crazy. I, like, you know, I've had girls in there, and I don't even think about them smelling it. Yeah. They probably smell it for sure. Probably. Yeah, but they, don't, they never told me that shit. I'm gonna tell you. <laughs> <laughs> <sighs> All right, man, we about to take this thing to the streets. I do, I kind of want to go 26s on here. This a big body. Nobody never put one of these on 26s. It's EM more. They they built the wrong offset uh, in the back. Like I could put a spacer on there and bring it out more, but I'm not. Okay. But it's they fought definitely. Yeah. yeah. I'm finna go hit a block in this so bad. Which one is, uh, what, what is it? It's finna glow. I'm finna charge this bit up. They 32 game ready to see this motherfucker glow. They forgot about it. Glow stick. The glow stick. It's finna glow glow. They forgot about this. Your shit don't glow. It pops, snackle, crack, and it glow. But get what you doing with all this damn salt, man? It was a slow, a slow year for snow. No money. But now you loaded with cars to clean. I'm going to start test driving these cars for you. Andrew, go get it. Nah, Miguel, how long you been here? Miguel been here too long. Nah, because Miguel uh, gets those cars that Andrew's going to be getting. Nah, he ain't getting them cars. Them still will come to Miguel. Do you leave those cars? I y'all not here. Yeah, see? What? <laughs> he cleans those cars over there. They going to still bring it to him. That's too much too much manpower for Andrew to handle. Andrew probably get a couple, but yeah. Miguel done hired the whole damn uh, Mexico military at that point, <laughs> so shit. <laughs> he better get it done. Miguel ain't playing. Miguel been out here pimping. You need to take him to gamble with you. Take his ass to the casino. He don't be doing nothing. He said he don't want to. <laughs> oh, don't want you don't want to go get no money with Marty? Marty a professional. I'm happy winning. Win yeah. All right, guys, that's enough of that bush. We finna go out, get in traffic, man. Um, he said that's enough of this bullshit. The whole thing is bullshit, man. You might as well just continue this bullshit conversation. Just shitting on these two idiots right here. I'm about to get some lit ass driving footage right now. I wish I had my 360. I don't know where the hell my 360 at. My I don't know where the hell my 360. I might just end up having to buy another one. I don't remember where I put it at. But anyway, y'all stay tuned for this lit ass driving footage. He said, stay tuned for this lit ass, uh, what is it? Lit ass 
driving footage, man. This shit ain't no driving footage. This dude is driving like the speed limit, man. Like, might as well hit that damn pedal, man. Like, get some more action going on. Like, you driving like real slow, grandma slow. Yeah, I had to fast forward through all that bullshit, man. I couldn't watch. It, it really wasn't all that. Like, he keeps saying this is, like, some good driving footage. It wasn't any good driving footage. This dude was just driving inside the city, man. There ain't no... How can you get any good driving footage driving in the city? He's not even, like, really, like, accelerating that hard. Um, this video, just like I predicted earlier, I told you, this is going to be one of those bullshit videos. This ain't a quality video. This is a quantity video first 20 30 minutes wandering around at the dealership wasting people's time right wasting andrew's time then he gets back home has a conversation with flunky marty and miguel about some car wash bullshit whatever conversation and now he's driving this mercedes and it's gonna come down to man we only got like what we only got like 10 minutes left it's only gonna come down to probably like two minutes worth of content so when all these goofies get in the comments and talking about oh well you clickbait cj clickbaits we learned this from cj cj's been known to clickbait like crazy this video is about the glow in the dark whatever mercedes right this shit is probably going to turn into like a two minute one minute content about the glow mercedes right and the rest of the video is all bullshit Get it put inside so we can capture this glow. And then once I get another 360 cam, we're gonna get some different footage. Now, man, we charge it up. As y'all can see, the sun went down. So, uh, we about to pull the big boy GT63 SN for the glow session. It's time to glow, baby. Let your soul glow. No, it's too nasty. Big body beans, not the little one. Big body. And I don't even realize how much shit I got until I pull it out and actually get in it. Usually, instead of just going in there taking a video. Big body. And this boy trying to reverse. I don't even know if I trust him to do that. Shaky hands. I got it, guys. Oof. Calm down, shaky hands. Capture that glow. That is going already. And we ain't even got the door shut. Let's go back. You good? Right there. First thing you see when you open this bad boy. Right there. Get it, guys. Slow time. Let's see. M Marty, turn it off. So we can see the, the lights go off. Ooh, that front glowing, glowing. Look. The glow stick. That light up there is not helping. Damn, it don't even matter, though. I got it charged. So once. You can see it right there. Yeah, you can see that top. But if these lights. Man, I ain't really focused on the glow. I'm focused on all that background music from Miguel's shop, man. This dude's got millions and millions of dollars worth of cars, millions of dollars in his bank accounts or whatever. He can't get himself a real shop where he can just park all his cars and don't have to be like roommate to Miguel and all this background music. But I don't see the glow. I mean, I see a little bit, but I don't, it's not as like, I'm thinking, like, this damn thing is really going to glow in the dark, right? It's going to be a bright green or whatever. Or, like, it's going to be a sharp, dark green. This shit ain't really glowing that much. I mean, yeah, it's like, it's like, it's like you can see some color difference, but it ain't, like, a huge color difference. It's still on, so that front bumper really ain't gl glowing. Yeah, well, you got these lights, yeah. Oh. But it's glowing. Let's see if we can capture the back. Full charge. The wheels is... The wheels is on that. Yeah, and that F. That's when you know your painter ain't half nothing. There it go. That fucker glowing, guys. Don't think because it's white. Because, look, the track hawk is over there. The track hawk is white. And then, oh, that's another white car right there. But when you look at this, that's all glow, baby. That's all glow. 
shit is not glowing, man. Like, now that he showed the track hawk in the background, I mean, it's like probably like a little difference, a little noticeable difference that they don't even look, it don't even look, it don't even look like green, man. It look like really like blue or something, something like that, like turquoise or something. Like, it's not even like, so even the, let me see the thumbnail. The thumbnail looks so. Yeah, they they definitely um. See, I thought it was gonna look like whatever it was in the thumbnail. That green color, they definitely photoshopped that thumbnail. Cause I I kind of forgot about this Mercedes. That thing don't look green at all in the dark room. It looks really more so, more so than anything. It looks like like a a blue, like a baby blue, um a baby blue color but this is what i mean with these raffles um the z06 right if you guys remember the z06 he had literally every other week he had a different special every other week he had a different special you guys gotta stop getting fooled by these guys they don't they know you guys are stupid they know you are stupid they're going to keep coming out. CJ don't give a fuck about anybody buying these tickets. As long as you continue to buy it, he's making money every transaction. Every time you buy raffle tickets, he's making more and more money. Now, granted, you could spend $100 when he first announces it and get 750 tickets. And then when he comes back around, like he always does, and says, hey, we got another 10x special. And then you buy another $100 for 1,000 tickets. I mean, you can do that. Um, but it seems like everybody that wins the raffles doesn't win when they buy more with more money. Like the last couple winners, get, get in the comment section because I know I remember some of these winners. They only spend like twenty five dollars or fifty dollars. Ain't nobody spending several hundred dollars or several thousand dollars winning these cars. I haven't. I have yet to see anybody that spent several thousand dollars win. Uh, a raffle car with the exception to um Corey ssg right i think he said um the guy that won the truck remember that big ass truck that uh cory ssg had the one um what was it like a f450 or f550 might have been a 450 or something like that the black one he said that guy that won it spent like seventeen thousand dollars or something i don't know how the fuck he spent seven like what, what did he like enter like 30,000 times or something like that because the tickets were only going for like 50 bucks or like 75 bucks or something like that so like if he spent 17,000 like he literally I would think like if you're using your credit card to buy $17,000 worth of tickets that your credit card probably after like the 10th transaction would have noticed that this is, might be some fraud going on right they probably would have just canceled his card so that's another thing that didn't make sense to me I'm like how did he spend 17,000 unless he just called up buddy Corey SSG and said hey man I want to I'm gonna I want that car let me get you uh let me wire you 17,000 because now I think about it I'm like you can't buy $17,000 worth of tickets without the system detecting this might be some type of fraud you know because if you if you're robbing like a credit card i'm sure that's what most people do that are stealing right they're just like trying to buy gift cards and trying to buy as many as they want once you get like five or six through the credit card i think by that point the the credit card company is noticing some like suspicious activity so how did he even get away with seventeen thousand? unless the whole thing is also and you know Corey ssg was like kind of shady with all that but like i was saying that's the only time Anybody has won a raffle spending that much money, 17000 So all these goofies that spend $100, $200 on CJ on 32's raffles, how come none of you guys are ever winning? So it ain't the amount of tickets then. It's, it can't be. It can't be that more tickets you buy increases your ability of winning because every time... The, the guy that won this Corvette, he only spent like $50, right? He didn't spend a lot. Get in the comment section. How much did this man spend? He didn't spend thousands of dollars. He didn't spend a couple hundred dollars. Every person that... And then the uh, the last one was the Chrysler, right? I think the Chrysler dude, even though that dude looked kind of like CJ's son, right? He looked like CJ's lost, abandoned son. That kid probably like spent, I think it was like $50. Seems like they all spend 
under a hundred dollars and win these cars so i don't understand why there's a huge focus for you guys to buy a thousand tickets 750 tickets all these specials continuously special after special after special it's all turning into a money game it's an easy grab easy money for these guys man it's crazy y'all like y'all getting dumber and dumber and dumber you see this man you see all these like different ticket prices this is nothing new so when i tell you by the way this happens every time Every time we talk about this, I always get like a few idiots. They're like, no, CJ said this is people think just because CJ says one thing, it must be true. He's always said bullshit on video. And then a week later, you can tell the bullshit was all lies. So, yeah, that's crazy. Here's your chance to win the Z06. Like we have had all these. All the uh, Z06 specials and literally the same thing repeats itself every single time. So now he's got now he's got another 10x weekend ticket sale. Even though a week like two weeks ago he said um, the one time ticket X sale is only once. See so you see this like with the Z06 you notice how before. For a hundred dollars, you would have got four fifty, and then this is a different price change of four hundred. You notice this, right? I'm I'm showing you guys this just to show you that this repeats itself every single raffle. CJ does this every single raffle. Is that hard for you guys to understand? CJ on thirty twos does the same exact thing every single raffle. He will say one thing at the start of the raffle, and then. A few days later, a week later, or th during like some kind of holiday special, he'll have another special, and he will do the exact same thing. He will only change the amount of tickets slightly, but for the same price. And then I guarantee you, two weeks later, three weeks later, it'll be like a crazy amount of tickets for the same exact price that he announced when they first introduced the raffle. You idiots got to stop buying these tickets early on. How hard is that? All right, so this is another one, man. I, I think we got to, like, we got to, like, what is this? Like, beating a dead horse at this point? But we got to do this. You guys got to see this. $100 for 450 tickets. What did I show you before? $100, 400 tickets. He does the same exact shit every raffle. Why do you guys continue to buy these raffle tickets early on? I want to understand the psychology of this why do you guys buy these raffle tickets early on if the price if the tickets are going to go up as time goes on i don't understand this hey cj the last triple ticket sale i did not get the triple number of tickets this isn't me all right this is like somebody else this is on instagram And this is Nigel the Realist, right? He exposed um, another like whole raffle thing. Marty Marr scammed me for $50 for a promo and blocked me on Instagram. Wow. See, this is what Marty Marr does, right? Takes a dump on you because CJ takes a dump on him. It's crazy, man. But this is, again, another example. Wanted to share it with you guys. Um... This only happened in two weeks' time now. So go check it out yourself. Go rewind the video. Compare the, the ticket numbers, the ticket prices. And, I mean, like I said, I mean, we could preach all day long and tell you guys to give you a heads up. But we know, CJ knows, that you guys are a bunch of idiots. Idiots that work 9 to 5 to take your money from your paycheck to fund CJ's raffle so CJ can live his life while you dummies work and fund his lifestyle. Simple formula, right? You stupid idiots at this point. Just like I said, psychological brainwashing. But anyways, man, let me know what you guys think in the comments section. Make sure you guys like, comment, and subscribe. Thank you guys so much for watching.